Today I'm going to show you five killer tips on how to remove blemishes in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's episode, I'm gonna show you five different ways you can use to remove blemishes in Photoshop. Now we all had pimples and zits and we all wanted to get rid of it. Now you can do it in Photoshop. So we're gonna show you really good tips for reducing overall redness on your face. I'm gonna show you how to actually like target reds and I'm gonna show you how to take that redness out. And then once we've done that, we're gonna show you a few different methods for actually cleaning up the skin itself. So we've got a like pretty extreme example today. We've got a lot of redness going on, but we're gonna show you how to remove all of that in Photoshop. We got a great tutorial for you guys. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. So the first thing we're gonna do is take care of the redness. If you got acne, your pimples, whatever, anytime you got any red on your skin, uh, we can target that red and lighten it up. This is a super cool. So we're gonna go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and over to hue slash saturation. Let's hit okay there. Now the first thing we need to do is target this red color. So here where it says master, we're just gonna go down to reds, check it out. We're gonna use this eyedropper here, and then I'm gonna click on the red that I wanna change. Okay, so now it's going to affect that red, but I wanna fine tune things a little bit more. Uh, and first I need to see what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do is just crank my saturation way up and my hue, and I know it looks totally weird right now, uh, it's on purpose, but <laughs> we're gonna fine tune this. Just make this window a little bit bigger, cause we're gonna be using this little slider down here on the bottom. Now the slider basically takes the color at the top and turns it into the color at the bottom. And this area here in the gray area, that's like what's gonna get affected and then it kind of feathers out. So click here right in the middle of that gray area in that slider and just drag that to the left there. And you can see different areas of the photo are getting affected, which is pretty cool. If I drag it to the right, it's gonna affect more of the yellows, drag it to the left, more of the reds. So the goal here is to like, like drag this a little bit to the left and then to have it pretty much color, color the reds, but you don't want it coloring everything, okay? So if it looks like super saturated and weird colored, then uh, it's actually correct. Okay, so the saturation of the hue, we're gonna pop those back to zero because obviously it looks like horrible right now, but that's our way of identifying and targeting those colors. So now that those colors are targeted, this is super cool. I'm gonna raise my lightness. So we're just gonna make it much lighter, which is really nice, right? It's like, oh cool, it's already looking good. Now we'll bring our saturation up a little bit more because we brought our lightness up. And if you just bring your lightness up, it looks like gray. So let's bring up our saturation a little bit more. Okay, there we go, saturation. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my hue and we're just gonna drag this to the right a little bit. And we're basically taking this hue and I'm making it like the same color as the skin. So we're taking that red color, we're targeting it and turning it to like skin color, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and close that down. I'm just gonna turn this off and on. And you can see it does a really nice job targeting those reds and really reduces them. So even if you're not doing like actual like blemish removal, which we're gonna show you guys how to do like skin pore replacement and stuff like that. But you can see this alone makes a huge difference. Now on your layer mask, you just wanna make sure to paint black on your layer mask uh, over top of like your uh, like mouth. And in this case, like the nose and stuff like that. Cause it'll, it'll make your mouth just like a skin color. So it'll look pretty weird. But you guys can see that's our first method for removing blemishes. So cool. So the next tool we're gonna be using is called the spot healing brush tool. It's a really powerful tool. Basically it takes all the work out of your hands. All you do, gotta do is click on the blemish and it will remove it. So jumping into Photoshop, we're gonna create a new layer here. Now I'm gonna go to my spot healing brush tool. So it looks like a little band-aid with some dots around it, spot healing brush. Now the options here at the top, you wanna make sure that you click on content aware, that's important. And you wanna click on sample all layers cause I'm on a new layer here, okay? So basically all you have to do is just, spend, and I'm gonna use the mouse here so you can see it's not even, you don't even need to use fancy equipment here. You could just use your mouse and just click on there and let go and it's going to remove your blemish. So it's just, you just click there and it thinks a little bit and it's gonna remove your blemish, which is really cool. So you might be saying, well, why would we need any other tools other than the spot healing brush tool? It sounds like it's doing a perfect job. It does a great job. However, you may notice if I start to zoom in here, the skin texture, what it's doing here is not, it's not perfect, right? You can kind of tell that something is a little up there. So 
if you're, for instance, if you're on a photo and someone's like kind of far away, spot healing brush tool, yeah, it works great because it, it, there's not gonna be a ton of texture in the photo. But if you can see this much detail when you're zoomed in, the spot healing brush tool is gonna get a little bit confused because it doesn't always know where to pull the texture. So next we have the regular healing brush tool. And with this tool, you choose your own sample point. So it's a little bit more work involved, but you can actually choose exactly where you wanna sample. So it's gonna be a little bit more accurate than the spot healing brush tool. So let's try the same thing. I'm just gonna create a new layer again here. We're gonna go here and it's just nested under the spot healing brush tool. So we'll just go to our healing brush tool, okay? And let's go ahead and zoom in here. And then now we can see, let's just make our brush a little bit smaller here. Now we can see if I hold Alt or Option and sample here and then paint right over here, it's gonna take the texture from wherever I sample, okay? And it's gonna go ahead and replace the texture from wherever I paint. So like in this area, this is what my spot healing brush tool did to this area. So I'm like, you know what? Not, not great, right? So we'll, I'm gonna sample right there and we're gonna paint right over here and kind of fix this up a little bit. Is allowing me to choose my own sample point so I can make sure that even at this level when we're super zoomed in, I've got skin texture that really does work for this level of zoom. All right, and it also works when you're a little bit further zoomed out. You know, if we wanna get rid of something like that, hold Alt or Option to sample. There we go, and just paint right over and you're good to go. The regular healing brush tool is probably my favorite way of removing blemishes because it allows me to be super accurate. So it's gonna take the texture from wherever I sample and the color from wherever I'm painting and kind of put them together again. So the next tool in our repertoire is called the clone stamp tool. And what this tool does, it just picks an exact copy of whatever you see. It's gonna copy exactly over here and put it over there. And that's gonna work really well when you have areas that have a lot of fine detail and any type of blending isn't gonna work for you. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to use the clone stamp tool to remove blemishes. So let's go ahead and start by creating a new layer. Now, click on your clone stamp tool right here. Make sure you have your mode set to normal here. You wanna make sure you are sampling either current and below or all layers. That's gonna allow you to do this on a new layer. So the clone stamp tool works. Let's just go ahead and zoom in here. You can sample any area of skin. So hold Alt or Option. I'm gonna sample right here. So hold Alt or Option and click. Okay, and then you just simply paint right over what you wanna replace. And it does an exact duplicate of wherever you sample. So for instance, I'm gonna sample right here and paint right over this place, and it's gonna do an exact duplicate. It's not gonna to try to blend anything in. So if you are using the clone stamp tool, it's important to sample an area that's pretty close to the area you actually want to change. For instance, if I were to sample over here, so I'm gonna sample right down here and then try to remove this blemish here, you're gonna see it's not gonna work because it's actually just cloning exactly here and putting it up there. As opposed to if I had the healing brush tool, I could sample down here and paint up here and it's gonna to totally work because it takes the texture from the down area down here and it takes the color from the area up here. So that's the main difference between the healing brush and the clone stamp tool. Now, getting to like an edge, if I'm at a place like this and I wanna like get rid of this little pimple here, whatever, if I sample this with the healing brush tool and try to paint it in, you're gonna see we're gonna get some real fuzzy, no good area there. So that's another case where the clone stamp tool really shines because the clone stamp tool is just gonna do an exact, an exact copy. It's not gonna to try to blend anything in. So you wanna go ahead and sample there. There we go. And then just paint right over top of there and it's gonna remove that little, uh, little pimple for you. So anytime you're around like an edge or you're in an area that has too much detail and you find that your healing brush tool isn't working for you, that's when you're gonna bring out your clone stamp tool. All right guys, we're almost done with our tools. The last guy we're gonna talk about is the patch tool. And the patch tool is kind of like the big brother of all these tools. You can select a huge area and remove blemishes from a large area rather than focusing on a bunch of little areas. So there are a bunch of options within the patch tool. There is a content aware option and a regular option. I find the regular option works much better. So we'll show you guys how to use that. So we're gonna create a new layer here. Now we're gonna click on our patch tool and the patch tool, it's located right here under your spot healing brush tool. So here we go, the patch tool. Now you have a couple of options again. You got your patch normal or content aware, okay? So if I'm on a blank layer, I'm gonna click content aware because it's gonna go to sample all layers. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a selection around 
what I want to remove and click and drag. Okay, and it's basically going to do its best to remove that selection. So let's go ahead and hit Control or Command D to deselect that. Now, basically how this works, in, in my opinion, this content aware, it doesn't do as good of a job as normal. So we're going to show you the normal w version in a second. So it, it looks okay, but it doesn't look seamless, right? You can kind of tell something happened there. But if you do like this tool, you can set your structure, which is the amount of like texture it's going to copy. The higher your structure, the more texture it's going to copy. And the higher your color, the more color is going to try to match there. Okay, so you do have some nice options, which is pretty cool. But again, you can see here, it's just not doing the best job. So my preferred way of using this tool is the normal mode, the non-content aware mode. The only downside with this is you can't do this on a blank layer, okay? No go. You either have to do this like on your background layer or what my suggestion would be is go ahead and create a new layer and then go to image and down to apply image it's just gonna put your image on this layer. So you can see now my layer is just this image, right? Like if I zoom out and use my move tool, it's just my whole image on that layer, right? So now basically you have like another copy of your image. So now we can use the patch tool in the normal mode and you're gonna see it, it works super well now. All right, so you're just gonna see, we're gonna just go over a few little areas here, select where you wanna remove and just click and drag out. And the nice thing about this is you can do large areas as well. You don't have to just do small areas. So if we wanted to go ahead and select that large area and drag it out to there, we can do that as well. So if you do have an area, you know, in this case, we have uh, some blemishes there. We want to go ahead and just select and remove all those blemishes at the same time. You can do that with these large areas. So again, my suggestion here is to use this tool in the normal mode. That's the mode that I find works best. Um, it's, it's nice that there is content aware, but I, I don't, in my experience, it doesn't work as well. All right. So we're just going to pop these around and bam, in just a couple of seconds, we'll have all these blemish, blemishes removed, which is really cool. All right. And keep in mind, we started off with our, uh, we started off with our hue saturation adjustment layer. And that's what helped us got, get all of our color exactly how we wanted it. All right, so we're almost done here, guys. So you guys, you can see this really doesn't take that long. There was quite a bit of blemishes. Chances are, well, I don't know what kind of photos you're gonna work on. I was gonna say, probably have less than this, but who knows? Some people have more, some people have less. All right, <laughs> now you can see that's working really well. We do still have an area here that's like, doesn't have a lot of skin texture, so if you ever find an area that you're like, ooh, it looks like I did too much work on there. There's not much skin texture there. It's not a big deal. Just do it again. Just patch tool, like go ahead, grab this area here, and then now you have some more texture there, okay? And if you ever want to fade that out, like, you know, we put some texture in there, but it's like too much now, you can fade this out. It's really cool. Just go to edit, and then down to fade, patch selection. Check this out, and you can just fade that out. So you can see like, okay, I want some skin texture. That's about good. This is too much for right there. You can see it's too much. So we just want to fade that out. Pretty cool. Just go to edit and down to fade and you can just fade it on out. So we'll just do it again here. Edit to fade and we'll just fade that out till it looks a little bit more realistic and you're good to go. All right, guys. Well, there we have it. I didn't do all the blemishes in here, but let's go ahead and take a look at our before and our after. Here's our before and the after. All right, guys, that's how we're doing it, removing blemishes in Photoshop. So don't forget, you can target those reds using the hue saturation adjustment layer. Make sure you just go up to where it says master, click on your reds, and then click on that eyedropper. That's how you can target the exact reds. And don't forget, you the slider down at the bottom, that's how you actually dial in what reds get affected. And then once you're done with the color, then you can use the variety of other tools to actually like, take care of the blemishes themselves. So it's kind of like a two-step process, but if you do this, you're gonna be able to like totally clean up photos of yourself, your friends, family, whoever's getting their picture taken, they can say, oh my God, this, can you take this out? And you can say, yes, I'll take it out for you. No problem. Guys, thanks so much for watching today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna see more of our videos, head on over to flurn.com. We've got a ton more covering retouching, compositing, special effects, and uh, well, basically anything you want to learn in Photoshop, we got you covered. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flurn you later. Bye, everyone. Here today, gone tomorrow. Um.
Oh shit, I didn't put any makeup on. I won't take long. How do I look? Give me a compliment, I need it. Beautiful. Thank you.